and humbled by your action today, and I pledge to you and the people of Massachusetts that during this interim period, I will go to work every day with the needs and aspirations of our state's citizens and residents foremost in my mind. I know that the people of Massachusetts care about jobs, education, affordable, high-quality health care, and I will work with those interests in mind every day, just as you do every day in your administration. I accept this temporary post, confident in the knowledge and perspectives that I require working closely with you and the Lieutenant Governor. You and the Commonwealth should be assured that I now go to our nation's capital, ever mindful of what matters to the people of Massachusetts. I want to also offer my congratulations to Secretary of State Kerry on his confirmation and also thank him for his years of committed and successful service to the people of Massachusetts. Secretary Kerry and his Senate staff have done extremely well by the people of Massachusetts and working with that staff, I aim to continue that work during the next few months. Because that work is closely aligned with the work Governor Patrick has been focused on since day one. Over the last three years, I have worked at the highest levels of the Patrick Murray administration as Chief Legal Counsel and Chief of Staff. In those roles, I have been privileged every day to hear from individuals, advocacy groups, and businesses so that I can better understand, advise, and act upon the challenges and opportunities facing our state. And as such, I am confident in my ability to make a positive impact for Massachusetts while I'm in the U.S. Senate. Working with, and indeed learning from our congressional delegation and President Obama, I know that I can help move forward the interests of this great state during this temporary period. And I look forward to this honored service. I want to close my prepared remarks by recognizing my lovely family in the front row. My wife, Stacy, a true superwoman, my biggest supporter, frankly, my everything. And our sons, Miles and Grant, my heart and soul. <laughs> They're with me today. Know that my family means the world to me, and I carry their love and support with me in this service, knowing that I'm going to Washington to do right by them as well. And I go in the hope that I can make them proud. And I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge one of the greatest influences on my life, my mother. She's in North Carolina right now, recuperating from her second knee replacement surgery, so she's not here with us physically. But know that she's in my heart as I think about what today signifies for her. She's a child of the segregated South, a single mother to my sisters and me after my father died when I was a teenager, a woman who did not have the opportunity to attend college. But my mother told me days like today were possible. If you work hard and treat people with respect, there's very little you cannot achieve in this great nation. These are the lessons that Stacy and I try to pass along to our sons today. I want to thank my mom from the bottom of my heart, and I hope this is being videotaped so I can show it to you. <laughs> uh, for giving me the foundation that led to this incredible opportunity today. <laughs> 